Hey everybody, welcome to this shortwave radio channel and uh, this is tip number, I believe 29 and it's actually more of learning a little bit about shortwave than an actual tip but it is a tip because there are things that you can actually use when you actually have that knowledge. And we're going to talk about why stations actually change their schedules twice a year. Some do it even more than twice a year. Some do it more than that because they want to compensate all the time. But in general, most stations update their schedules twice a year. And that's what we call the A schedules and the B schedules. So if you've been watching or my videos or if you've been uh, looking at schedules on shortwave or hearing about that, you probably heard, oh, B18, A19, and so on. So two schedule seasons appear every year. Now, since the end of March, we are on the A19 schedule season. That's the first schedules for shortwave for this year. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's the summer schedules. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's the winter schedules. And late October, because that's pretty much how it happens, late March, late October are the two dates when you gotta remember that it changes will jump to the B18 schedules. And until March of next year, before we will fall to the A20 schedules and so on. So of course the letter A and B for the first and second release of schedules for the year, the number for the year of the release of the schedules. So um, A19 for the first schedules of 2019. Now, why stations do that is because as the seasons change, so does shortwave propagation. Propagation in July, propagation in January is very different. Except maybe at the equator. The equator being pretty much always at the same spot doesn't change that much. But Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, and the closer you are to the poles, the more the effect is drastic on the schedules and on the frequencies that you will use to broadcast on shortwave. So typically stations have to adjust this because their frequencies for the winter time in the northern hemisphere, for example, might not actually propagate very well in the summertime. But it depends. Some stations choose very, very wisely the frequency and you notice that pretty much all year round they could stay on that frequency and it's pretty good. But the best reception most of the time, they'll want to adjust that. They'll want to adjust the frequency so that it matches the season. And this, of course, means you have this moment where we're kind of lost and don't really know where to listen in to the stations because they change the frequency and you might not know what's the new frequency. That's where the schedules are important because that's how you'll know. Now, there's one positive thing about this and uh, apart from propagation uh, effects because it is a good idea to change the schedules even though it's a little complicated because for a while you might not know where your favorite station is one of the very interesting effects of this is that for broadcasts that are not meant for our target area and i'll give an example of the bbc so the bbc world service changed some of its frequencies one of them that it's using right now, 7300, is actually propagating well to North America, the East Coast, from 0 to 01 UT. So there's unintentional effects, meaning they're not broadcasting to us, but that change of frequency, the frequency they're using and where they're targeting the broadcast, is actually favoring us here. And so what is more difficult to listen to, say BBC, uh, from different transmitter side actually has become easier. Some stations might be easier to hear in certain um, you know pairs of the year because of the frequency they choose. An example is um, Radio Japan French from Madagascar. Well their winter frequency is actually really good to the east coast of North America and it makes me listen to NHK Radio Japan on in the winter time on 985.5 with usually a very good signal. In the summertime, the chosen frequency, I don't know what frequency they've chosen because I haven't checked the schedules, but possibly it's a frequency in um, like 
the 25 meter band probably um, often is okay but it's not as good as the winter frequency so that means that each uh, season of broadcasting tune around because you might have um, you know your favorite stations in the winter time because the frequencies are chosen even though it's not for your target area might actually be good and that also means that sometimes some of these stations you won't hear in the other schedule season the B 19 for example or whatever because that frequency isn't well chosen for your broadcast area but it also you know it always brings some interesting stations and that means that you'll have and that's pretty much what I do I'll have my favorite winter stations and summer stations for a simple reason is that some of them will be mostly stations I'll hear in the winter time or not uh, an example of that Radio New Zealand in the evening is usually for me more of a summer uh, station in the winter time in the evening East Coast not very very favorable for Radio New Zealand there are other times and frequencies that are like in the morning for example but I tend to see that Radio New Zealand will come back as one of my favorite choices of shortwave broadcast in the summertime because of the frequency they use and the, that the fact that in the summertime here in North America it actually is a good signal in the evening so look at the schedules and try to tune in all the broadcasts that you see there and see if there are some unusual broadcasts or some stations that oh you got a great signal remember that it will happen that some of them will be more in one season than the other but uh, you know that's why anyways stations change frequency because they want to make sure that the signal is the best for their target area and because of the changing ionosphere for winter and summer they have to adjust the frequencies and use that as I mean, and that's the kind of the tip for today use that to listen to some stations you might not hear at other times of the year on the shortwave bands if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up Thank you for watching.